Take this uh, west northwest track and then a little harder turn to a northerly direction as we move through late Thursday into Friday. It's a tropical depression, but don't focus on the wind strength. Let's focus in on some of the impacts because we'll be to the right of this area of low pressure. Remember when Ian moved off our coastline, we were to the left of it. Our impacts were minimal. I would say the impacts from Nicole locally will be greater than what we saw during Ian and we'll break that down for you for all counties across our area coming up. Storm tracker radar network, maybe a couple hours from landfall here. Nicole only 50 miles to the northeast of West Palm Beach moving in this west northwest direction. A wide swath of rain out there. The rain will start to arrive here very late tonight. So the first step out the door up here on Hilton Head Island umbrella ready to go. Already starting to see some of that water slosh around here down at the end of the pier. Flags are whipping around down at the surface and the elevated area on the lighthouse here. Look at that. So let's talk about the winds on Hilton Head Island in the Harbor Town area. Northeast 23. That's a sustained wind. There have been wind gusts over 30 miles per hour. Temperatures not too bad in the mid 60s. They won't drop off a whole lot tonight. We'll start off around 63 degrees. All the red you see here. It's a high impact weather day. We have tropical storm warnings for a good part of coastal Georgia, the low country and southern counties in southeast Georgia that are inland. So our rain chances ramp up tomorrow. We have the thunderstorm symbol in here during the afternoon and evening, and we're really concerned that there will be isolated tornadoes across our area, and that's because we're to the right or the east of that area of low pressure, and that's the quadrant of the storm that's a little more problematic. So a slight risk of isolated tornadoes here for southeast Georgia and the low country. Let's just go hour by hour through the forecast 2 a.m. tonight. There it is, Nicole making landfall in that southern part of Florida, and then it spins to the north and west. That's going to start pulling rain in our direction. Not all areas will see rain between 6, a, 6 and 8 a.m. tomorrow, but we will start to see more of that rain build in from the morning into the afternoon. So the center of low pressure goes into north Florida. We start to spin these bands of rain and thunderstorms back in our direction and look how intense they are during the afternoon and the evening hours. And that's why we're concerned some spin up tornadoes could start to cruise their way across southeast Georgia and the low country. Timing would be from about two in the afternoon on Thursday all the way to probably about midnight. So moving into Thursday night early on Friday, things do start to calm down across our area. Some rain will still rotate through. Winds will decrease quickly as we move into the evening hours on Friday. So that's pretty good news for all those high school football games that will be taking place across the area. Impacts from Nicole. Heavy rain, pretty widespread, 1 to 3 inches. Wind gusts 35 to 45 miles per hour. Localized higher gusts. We have increased the threat of isolated tornadoes. Coastal flooding, only about one more chance of that, and that would be high tide on Thursday morning right around 9 a.m. Let's give you more detail on these future rainfall totals. A pretty wide swath of one to three inches of rain across our area and the forecast breaks down like this. 60s Thursday morning winds ramp up 30 to 40 miles per hour. The highest gust Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening, Friday upper 70s morning rain and then the rain exits and the winds will start to decrease your weekend forecast. Hey, we're in the clear across Southeast Georgia and the low country 70s falling to the 60s and it's a pretty cool looking forecast into parts of next week. Rain showers Tuesday and Wednesday and then it's cool for Thursday and Friday with just a slight chance of showers. High impact weather days tomorrow and we'll have you covered right here on W.